Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we're going to learn about how to solve integrals with exponential functions. There are two exponential rules that we'll be using today. The first one is when we have the integral of a constant to the power of x with respect to x. The antiderivative is equal to the constant to the power of x over ln of that constant plus c. The second exponential rule is very simple. It's the integral of e to the x, which is equal to e to the x plus c. To solve integrals with exponential functions in them, it's important to memorize these rules. Here's our first example. We have the integral of negative 5 to the x with respect to x. First, we'll use the constant multiplication rule. We'll pull out a negative 1 from the integral. Next, we'll use the exponential rule. 5 is our constant, so we'll substitute 5 in for a, and we'll get negative 1 times 5 to the x over ln of 5 plus c. We'll simplify this to negative 5 to the x over ln of 5 plus c. And now we'll check our answer. We'll do this by taking the derivative of the antiderivative. If you forget how to take the derivative of an exponential function, here is the rule. Alright, and we get negative 5 to the x, which is our integrand. So our answer is right. This last example will put together all the rules we've been learning so far. We have the integral of 2x minus e to the x with respect to x. First, we'll use the sum rule. We'll split this integral into two integrals. So we'll have the integral of 2x with respect to x minus the integral of e to the x with respect to x. Now we'll take the integral of 2x. We'll use the constant multiplication rule and we'll pull out a 2 from the integral. Now we can see that we can use the power rule because we have x to the 1. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll simplify our function to x squared plus c. Now let's solve the second integral, the integral of e to the x. We'll use our exponential rule, which means that this integral is equal to e to the x plus c. Now we'll substitute in our antiderivatives to their integrals, and we'll get x squared plus c minus the sum of e to the x plus c. This simplifies to x squared minus e to the x plus c. So let's check if our answer is right. We'll take the derivative of the antiderivative and we'll get our integrand. So that means our answer is right. Solving integrals with exponential functions is pretty simple as long as you memorize the exponential rules. But for more help, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.